Next up is Joe Bonides. Hello, my name is Joe Bonides. Congratulations. For the first time in the last six months, you are officially following your bylaws as it is now listed as a three minute discussion instead of a five minute discussion. I know this only because the new bylaws have been published on the website long after the other 13 changes as well. I did have a chance to review the bylaws in NEOLA, the left leaning nonprofit legal pawn of the School Board Association, has set you up with a very authoritarian underpinning, and you really can just change the bylaws at your pleasure. Also, the public hearing part <coughs> excuse me, of this meeting used to have an eight word introduction and back then almost no one showed up. You actually included who spoke and who talked what they talked about. Now you have a 238 word threat at the front of the agenda. Okay, the last few sentences are a threat of defamation. The Board of Education is an elected body answerable to the public. Well, what you have in the intro verbiage may be true for a private citizen talking to another private citizen. You folks are public officials. A quick duck, duck, go search. I hate Google. Uh, for defamation of character, private citizen versus public official brings up all sorts of good stuff. New York Times versus Sullivan, 1964 at the Supreme Court. For a public official to recover damages in a defamation case, he must prove that the statement was defamatory, but also made with actual malice. The court reasoned that this heightened burden of proof was required by the First Amendment in order to ensure uninhibited debate on public issues, even when such debate includes, quote, vehement, caustic, unpleasantly sharp attacks on government and public officials. I would suggest that you send your public comment verbiage to Neola and see if they think it would survive a First Amendment test. Also, my wife did inquire about the study groups, which according to Superintendent Cheryl's reply, have no actionable items and do not have a quorum. I'll give you the quorum, though it's a dodge, but the mere act of deciding what the study group will pass up on to the full board is a decision. And your new behavior of reading the highlights of the study groups, I'm still not gonna call them minutes at this, at this meeting, does not change the fact that this meeting is mostly a rubber stamp of decisions made previously. Separate topic. At the 1 minute 30 mark of the October meeting, a brave 7th, 7th, uh, 8th grader talked about the furries having tails and ears of cats and dogs and barking in class. Nothing happened. At the December meeting, someone talked about the litter box for, for uh, in the bathroom for the cat people. The, apparently the first meeting wasn't sufficiently embarrassing in order to pay attention to it. Facebook exploded. President Shero asked for evidence. Thank you for that. In that string, the mother of the student who talked talked about the fact that she tried to follow up and got no response. If the litter box did exist, I'm sure all traces are gone. Thank you. Thank you. 